Hey party people, as Nico says, welcome back. <laughs> so, so I, as was likely, nothing happened from closing the game. So, um, it looks like I've hit the end of Nico's different dialogues for closing on them. Sadly, so now they just welcome me back. So we need to see what else is up around here, down in this terror zone. Hmm. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh! Did, did, did I have a key? Huh. Hey, dude. What? Can I talk to you? Oh, that's creepy. Oh no, I can't talk to it. Okay, I read about this guy. I can't talk to you either. Are you, are you serious? Oh no. Okay, that was weird. I just confirmed that that was a problem with my computer and not with one shot. So, okay, now it's working again. <laughs> hey, Larry, welcome back. So yeah, I couldn't select anything and I was walking around here for a little bit and uh, that, uh, I realized it was not working as intended. So let's see what this guy says. Yes, hello person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Now we can talk to this weird scraggly boy. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Yeah, I guess that'd be much less stressful for everyone involved. <laughs> Make sure there's no one over here. Okay. So now we can talk to people in the library. Pile of books on the ground. Pile of books on the ground. There's robots sorting books. Yep, still scared of ladders. Oh yeah, that's right. You were scared of ladders in the barrens. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. <laughs> I will. So this is not a very tidy library. Unless those are all books that they accidentally dropped. Oh, is it the guy? A computer is currently off. Oh, but will it be on later? Alright, keep that in mind. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Mm, doesn't look that neat. Could be neater. Especially considering robots did it. Look at this, this cool guy. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. <laughs> what a grumpy boo-boo. I like this little baboo. The author's book covers a wide range of topics. Oh yeah, someone mentioned the author capitalized in the barons. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focused on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at all these cute chairs. Oh, man. Look at this little cutie. You got a scarf? Oops. Nope. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk to the baboon. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts, the reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. Er, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you think he would at least show up in once in a while? But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Hmm. A computer is currently off. I wonder if the author is the person who is talking to us on the computer. Or, hmm. <laughs> what is this? Is this his binocular face? The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Well, oh yeah, everyone, it's like the bird people talked about their friend that had a flying machine. So that's the author. Um, <laughs> they have a book face. What are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelf to modify them. I have to cross out some sections, most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. 
Um, the author, I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it, and nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh. I mean, I ain't hatin'. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent, but it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that people call me a cat all the time, <laughs> even though I'm a person and cats are pets and mousers. I'm sure, I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Heh, <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. <laughs> Over here, there's one with a mug head. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Who's this girl? She, she reminds me of um, the human form of Sue in Cave Story. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travelogues and novels, mostly. And who's this little nerd? The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done... Oh. Wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. What if he has a hyperbolic time chamber? <laughs> Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if the author is someone from Earth. Can I get over to that? Uh, oh yeah. You're going through those pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, but he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. <laughs> really prolific guy. Oh, there's more of these books with a clover on them. A big book with a black co clover on the cover. It says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Oh, you can actually read it. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses... Oh. Wait, I, I was pushing in the other direction, though. This looks pretty long, so wait. If a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. Even if so, the boost phosphor will now return to its original brightness. Okay, blue phosphor is in the barrens. Um, moderate levels of energy. Okay, so it seems like the most important gist is um, blue phosphor is medium strong, and it comes from you know shrimp and stuff. Uh, green phosphor is the strongest, but it's very hard to keep a lot of it because it's from just those trees and I guess it used to be over harvested. And red, you know, in the city is in mineral form and it's the weakest though, but I guess they have more of it. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have to, you know, be tested on that later. Can I get over to that? Yeah. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Oh, cool. Phosphor shrimp, also known as seed shrimp in certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. Oh yeah, they, they've got like a little bubble around them. Okay, and then you have the common fly or fly. They can be used as living lamps. Uh, okay, cool. Was there more books like that? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> he's got glasses. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Um, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. <laughs> Allow me to call her. And there's a girl named George. Is he calling her on himself? On his cell phone? Wait, we, we doing this? She is not picking up. <laughs> is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore Eddie and all phone calls for several days. Yikes! Can you go get her in person then? 
leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. <laughs> the archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Coffee. A coffee machine. It's almost empty. Coffee cups. Coffee is for grown-ups. <laughs> Took me a long time even after I was in growing up to be able to stand coffee taste. Alright, one more guy. What's up, dude? I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. <laughs> um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's an unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Is it gonna do the whole thing again? Da da da. Nico, just go for it. Just go for it, Nico. She is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure we can't just- you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Mm -hmm. Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <laughs> Sigh. Alright, oh, do we need to go back somewhere else on the surface and get that card? Cause wait, okay, we got the weird film and the empty tube and all that stuff. Um... Oh yeah, I need to get out of the library. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna make sure nobody has anything to say about this strange journal. Maybe George would know something about it. Oh, there's this book I found back in the Barrens area. Since this is the place for books, would you happen to know what it says? I do not recognize this language, but the symbol on the cover is of importance. Oh, the head librarian George can explain it. Ah, yeah. Would you like me to call her? No, please don't. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, maybe she'll be able to tell me about that. Alright, so... Hmm... I don't think I went this way yet. Oh! <gasps> There's a lot of water here. It's a big fish tank. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish! <laughs> oh, Nico's excited! Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh! I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Oh no! There's a sink. Oh, can I, can I, um, 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 um... Empty tube! Right, I can fill, refill this tube with more water here. <gasps> yes! Can I go back up? Oh shit! There's a big fish tank. It's a big fish tank. Do I have to choose between helping these fish and helping my, uh, plant friend? This is oh, it's a little robo news boy. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No, newspapers are for grown ups. <laughs> grown ups. Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids. Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. <laughs> All right. What's down here? Or just go into the library. Okay, so that was weird because I got to the library through like a door that required a key. So could I have just gone down here or would it have been blocked off somehow? Huh. Weird. <gasps> Is it letting me go, go back up? Yes! <laughs> hey, Deco. Mm hmm. And <laughs> doesn't Nico know that they're kind of in here with me? Alone. Awkward. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I'm gonna combine the tube of water with the water pill. So put the pill in the water. It dissolved really fast. Yeah, medicated water. Okay, so, 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 travel to the garden. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Oh yeah. Medicated water. Good thinking, Mary. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. 
Yeah! Good luck, little plant! Okay, so Nico seems pretty satisfied with that now. So that is good. Um, I'm going to assume whatever we need to do for the library card is down on the surface. Unless... That was interesting that we still have the feather. Hmm. I wonder if there's any chance that guy would give us another water pill. <laughs> water pill. That's the thing my grandma has to take. Hey, water dude. This is going to help so many people and also make me rich and famous and cool. Ah, he won't give me another one. What if I show you? Oh, oh, yeah, the water thing's completely gone. Okay. Uh, so I guess I can't help out fish guy anymore. Are you of your photos? No. Oh, did I go this way yet? Oh, it's, it's this guy! He's doing, he's doing his thing with the lights. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't here. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory? You just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Wait, I have to just take the, the stairs at the end. Well, good luck! <laughs> okay, so I just take the stairs... at the end. This one. And then take a left, so down here. Ooh, dramatic. What we got? A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. Hey, scienceman. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Ooh, I'm a nerd. Alarming to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the frost for now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Sounds like some alarmist nonsense. Pew pew. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Hey, dude. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Uh-huh. You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Um, how do I solve this? That's part of the test. Bummer. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, so there's, there's green, there's red, and yellow. Okay. Oh, they're making them robots. It's a big metal box with a lot of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. <laughs> he is spinning. Okay. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Oh wait, so so it's just a puzzle. It's not like a particular um, code that I need to enter. Do I need to make them all red or something? So wait. But it seems... Oh! 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 It's that kind of puzzle. Okay. Can I reset it? Ah, boo. Okay. Uh, I don't remember the right way to solve puzzles like this. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, so let's see. Three lights correct. Oh, three of them are correct already. Okay. One light correct. Okay, that's really good. That's really good info. That means that these both need to be yellow, and then one of the other three also needs to be yellow. Um, three lights correct. Okay. So it, it's got to be these two, then. Is 
Yeah! <laughs> Actually did that right, huh? I wonder if the actual pattern that you need is randomized then. Well, so many scientists! Monitoring, monitoring. <laughs> so sciencey. Ugh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh yeah, I, I saw those robots. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. <laughs> Wait, what is... Oh, it's like a little bubble blower? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Yeah, Dr. Silverpoint. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. Oh. Coffee machine, it's almost empty. Shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? So I guess maybe Silverpoint isn't silver. Are you Silverpoint? These robots are manufactured are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. <laughs> I cannot stop spinning. The robot. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. <laughs> oh. This one isn't active. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. TV head? This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. <laughs> now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really, but your head is a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. <laughs> a robot. I do like that a bunch of random people just have crazy ass heads here. This seems stressful. My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... It looks like he's glitching the fuck out! Hmm. Sorry, robot. Alright, what about up here? Hello? Wait! Oh shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Mary helped me solve it. Did they now? So can I help you with anything? Yeah, do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? She's so cute! So this must be Silverpoint, and, and she has the same like hair color as Silver, and I guess if she like let it down, she would look the same as Silver? Are they like... Oh wait, but Silver's a robot. Are you a robot? Or was like Silver's appearance based on you? You'll have to ask the library for that. Ugh. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Well, that sounds like George, alright. <laughs> I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. You're winking at me. You're so anime. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Well, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot, I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition, and my photo on the card won't match you, unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Oh, there was that, there was that dude in the hoodie that was like, are you here for your photos? What's this? Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you'll need gl to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, <laughs> tell me more about you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you really... Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda, but I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun god, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh, 
Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult, I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots, or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah. I assume that's the author. Hey, Mary, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? Yeah! I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh, thank you for the hint, Nico. Here, look at this amber. Oh? That's... How did you get this? This robot lady from the Barons gave it to me. She looked kind of like you? I see. Sigh. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person, a robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through her, his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like I, oh, I wanted, but the damage was already done. I gave her up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that, and now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will! Aww. I wonder, I wonder if Dr. Silverpoint is Kip from that letter. Kip Silverpoint. I don't know, maybe Kip is a guy. The, this, this mysterious, the author guy. I wonder if his name is Kip. Um, so let's see if we need to try this and have it fail. Kip's library card. Oh yeah, it does say Kip. The name is Kip Silverpoint PhD, yeah. Okay, so now we know who Kip is. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I know, I know. <laughs> but I have a library card! Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. Okay. But we knew that was gonna happen. Alright, dude, can I get some photos from you? Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah, I need to take a picture for reasons. <laughs> Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Heh, <laughs> you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Mary and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. <laughs> Wait, it's right behind him. It's like back here? Or, or is this it? Oh yeah, you can go in here. Okay. Didn't do anything. There's a slot here. It looks like paper or something might come out from it. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit here. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit here. And this is where you take your picture. Hello. <laughs> okay, so... Used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. <laughs> Nerd. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bug bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. <laughs> okay. What about you? Is there anything you remember how to, about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Oh geez, okay. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. Wait, oh, I guess that means that there's four. 
Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. <laughs> it looks busy. You can tell, huh? Alright, so I need four lenses. Okay, wait, so I, let me check these clues again. Okay, so I think thick is far left. And thin would be second from the right. We went through thick and thin together. Okay, so so it's thick, concave, th thin, and then I assume convex would be the other one. And you're useless to me. But yeah, bulgy would be convex. Okay, so I need to get lenses. Oh! I don't think I've actually been here. Oh shit! A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Oh, this must be where he lives. Okay. An empty glass jar. The handle on this one looks broken. An empty glass jar with a wire handle. A jar full of red glowing fluid. There's some big plastic discs in here. It looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Murray, are we really gonna take these with us? <laughs> but they look so heavy. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I got the lens they I need. They're actually pretty light. Yeah, okay. Convex lens, concave lens, thin lens, and thick lens. Excellent. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. There's an empty coffee cup on the chair. A bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. Some empty lan glass jars. Oh, poor lantern guy. So this is your life, huh? Alright, then what all- oh, there's a glitch. Plant don't not work. Aww. God, I miss this whole area. What's this? <gasps> a fox! Whoa, Mary, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Yeah. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Er, uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. Oh shit. Oh man. I'm starting to feel like one of the choices we get at the end is going to be for Nico to return to their world, but uh, that'll make this world die somehow. Okay, so... God, Nico better not be a fucking sacrifice. <laughs> it better just be that you have to stay here. Okay, so you need the thick lens. And then you needed concave. And then you needed convex. And then thin lens. Haha. -ha. Easy peasy. Um, cheese. Ouch, my eyes! <laughs> it's a photo of me! Are my eyes always as big? <laughs> yes, you got very big eyes. Oh yeah, you can see the little photo. Not a cat! <laughs> Alright, combine it with the glitter glue. The back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. <laughs> and put it on the card! The card has my face on it now. <laughs> Stupid robots. All right. All right, you're not gonna be able to handle this shit. Oh, you can actually see the little Nico picture added in the lower right. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. <laughs> Maybe I should have changed the name. Oh yeah, magical sound. Some trees. What's this? Some of the trash spilled out onto the floor. Looks like an old phone. Oh, is that the phone that she doesn't answer? Excuse me. Hey! Oh, someone with a dice head. Who the heck do you think you are barging in here like this? I don't care if you're the messiah. Manners are still a thing. 
I'm sorry. Well, are you just here to apologize? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go to the tower. Seriously, you haven't figured that one out yet? <laughs> I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Shouldn't Mary help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Oh, look, the, the eyes close. Okay, so those are like their eyes, like, turn to the side. <laughs> not because that tiny entrance room, anyway. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah of all people can get in. But I don't got anything like that in my collection. Would like to though. I see. Oh, what about what about um strange journal? Oh, I have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh, let me see. Mm -mm. Oh, of course, of course. Um, more work for George. Fine. <laughs> hey, uh, kid. Nico. Looks like I'm going gonna have to translate this for you. Might take a while. All right. Yawn. Excuse me. I know that feel, kid. <laughs> I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. Yawn. Oh, I'm so cute. That's not good. You know what? I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. Go take a nap. Just looking at you getting tired is making me tired. Oh yeah, we can take a nap. I can finally end the episode on a nap like a proper player. <laughs> the computer screen says something about updated databases. Looks like a scanner. There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and the other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Uh, are they all about clovers? <laughs> what? Of course not. That's just how the author marks his work. Oh? Because he has to keep up with his mysterious persona, I guess. <laughs> He's never even told me his name. Wait, so he wrote all these books? Deep breath. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> even the painting is books. <laughs> Refrigerator. The fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Everything that I ever helped him publish is here. What, you want to read them or something? Uh, y yes. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I've got time for that shit. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. <laughs> Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. So they're, so they're very important. Okay, so I can actually read some of these. Wednesday, another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Various sketches. Practice. Oh, look at these cute little drawings. Okay, the, the author. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house, she said the vision... She said the vision included light from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Yeah, we still don't know where that house actually was. Rachis was also present at the meeting. Ratchis? Rachis? I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on the recording of the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Oh, it's... yeah, the sibling's dad. Yeah, boy. book was poking out from the shelf. Oh, it's profit bot. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to time-limiting resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. The blue phosphor, rounder look. <laughs> Redesigned internal audio receptor, compatible with longer clothing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you can just leave like a, a videotape. Box full of notebooks. Box full of manuscripts. I wonder if this is where the, the author sleeps when he visits. Book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of a dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Huh. 
Does that mean that there's six endings? Or, hmm, I guess, I guess we'll find out next time. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course. Good night, Nico. And that'll be the end of this episode. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. And and I guess we'll 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 see what happens next time. <laughs> Choose. Wink. It's so dark. <laughs>